Hey people, so I just yesterday bought a new microphone for my videos. It's the Rode Video Micro, about a hundred dollars. Unfortunately, I didn't realize it's for cameras. It came with this cable here, which allows you to connect it to a DSLR camera. But if you connect it to a phone or even use the iPhone adapter, it will not work at all. So I spent ages looking for a cable, going to different shops around town. Nobody had them, no one had even heard of it. This is the cable here I'm after, about $22 plus shipping online. So I thought I may as well try and make my own one and see if it works or else return the microphone and get a different one. We're after a cable that has three pins on one end and four pins on the phone end. So I tried this headphone splitter. It seemed to accept a three pin headphone jack and then have a four pin output. That's kind of what we're after there, that's from a different microphone. So I plugged it in, and of course it still didn't work. So at this point I gave up with the adapters and chopped the ends off of both cables to see what the heck's going on in there. And the you have four wires coming out of the iPhone, and one of them actually provides a 2.7 volt DC supply, which was quite interesting. So now we're listening to the audio just from the phone, so I can show you. Here's the microphone. The cord I've made. So I originally tried it like that, straight to the phone. And I'll show you what's required to build this cable like here. This. And I'm using the phone right now to record the video. So I can't really show you what's going on, but that's plugged into the phone right now. And in order for the microphone to work, this is a condenser microphone, a three cable one. So it actually needs a voltage. Your camera can provide a voltage and the iPhone actually can too. So we can test here and see that there's nothing there. There's, there's no voltage coming out. Now, I'll plug my cord in. Four bit goes to the phone, the phone adapter in this case. And now when we test it, go to the base pin and the end, 2.7 volts. Who knew that the iPhone was providing a voltage out of there? I wonder if we could put an LED on there or something like that. I'll plug this one in. Hopefully you can hear my voice coming through the microphone now. Works pretty well. By the way, here's what's in those little adapters. No wonder they cost 20 bucks, $15. There's all these little micro components inside them. What the heck? I spent about two hours trying all different ways to configure these wires and then I found a good picture online on a third party site that was selling one of those cords and this is how it's set up, it only uses two wires, just the tip and the sleeve of the microphone input and those dirty bastards seem to have switched the wires around inside so it goes from the base to the tip and it changes so you have to use a specialised cord not just a normal double ended one. Here's the finished result. So if you know what you're doing, you could probably make it in about 10 minutes if you had an old set of headphones with a 4 pin jack and you bought a new 3 pin jack to solder on to the end of that. It'd be quite a simple project, only uses two of the wires inside. It also comes with a cat's fur, I refuse to call it a dead cat, that's just gross. Anyway it looks pretty legit, I'll have to try it in some of my outdoor videos. Don't worry, little Timmy. I wouldn't do that to you. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of this video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Have a good one.